Hey guys, it's Natalia and welcome back to my channel. So today I have kind of an experimental video that I haven't really done before. I really want to try to grow my social media a little bit more. So if you don't know me at all, I have a shop. It's all made to order fun fashion things, but I have been at it for about a little over a year now and I just feel very stagnant in my growth. I think I grew a lot within the first year and now I'm kind of at like this weird plateau of growth. I'm still constantly growing, but just at a very like slow rate. So I kind of want to actually implement like a strategy and actually plan things out to try to like push my content more and kind of reach a greater audience. I really kind of want to try to implement like actual content strategy like stuff into my social media to see if it works because I always come across all of these like TikToks and Instagram posts being like if you want to grow your Instagram or you want to grow your TikTok like do these and take these steps and you're gonna get like 10k in a month which is not always legit so I want to actually kind of test it out for my shop and see if we can get there. So starting with my Instagram right now I'm at 23 3.3 thousand followers which is insane and that's a big number so I am very content with where that's at but I would love to try to see if I could get to like 30k by the end of the month my goal is like 50k by the end of the year but kind of a lot I'm not even halfway there so I don't know if I'll get there but that would be like the dream but if I could get to like 30k by the end of the month that would be kind of cool so that's kind of where I'm at there on TikTok I have 59.5 thousand followers which again is really great but I would love to get to 100k I don't know if that's gonna be possible within this month maybe like 75k would be really cool this month but by the end of the year I'd love to have 100k on there but you know we'll see TikTok has been uh, not on my side lately so that's the one I really want to tackle and as far as my YouTube channel I have also felt a little bit stagnant I grew a lot at the beginning of the year and then it kind of just like stopped a little bit so I would love to kind of put more effort into that and um, see what works and as of right now I have 68,065 subscribers which again is super great and I'm very grateful for what I have but I would love to reach a new audience maybe we could try to get to like 75k on there too I think that would be cool so those are the goals I'm going to actually hop on a call with Kennedy who is one of my best friends but she also works with me we're going to kind of strategize on content she kind of does a little bit of everything for me but she's technically like a marketing assistant in a sense so I told her to kind of give me a lot of like video ideas and just kind of start putting together a list of all these videos and content things that we could do and as of right now, it's July 30th. So this is going to be for all of August. I want to literally start from like August 1st to August 31st. Kind of see where that takes us. So I'm going to hop on the call and I will catch you guys after. Hello, it is the next day. I thought I was gonna update you guys yesterday after my call and then I didn't because then somebody else called me and then I went to have dinner with my parents. So anyway, we had a super productive call and we figured out a TikTok for every single day. But here's the thing, obviously I want to actually have some of these like prepped in advance. I don't actually wanna be making a TikTok every day because it takes so long to make like a 15 to 30 second video for whatever reason. So I wanna start kind of, you know, putting stuff together. Tomorrow is like the official first day. So Today's still the 31st of July, so still have time to kind of plan things out. So right now I'm going through all of the videos I have on my phone of like me making stuff just from like forever ago to now and I'm downloading them to my computer because I want to have them all in one place also because my phone is running really low on storage and I really need to like you know get them off my phone so I want to have those all on my computer so that way I can even like share those with Kennedy and then she can kind of start uh, compiling things together and stuff I feel like when it comes to TikTok it's not like Instagram where like everybody kind of sees your pictures and sees your feed I feel like your followers on TikTok don't always see your TikTok so you can like reuse the same content so much and like you can still get really good views out of it because it just ends up on the for you page so it's like a new audience sees it so I need to actually be better about that because I tend to forget that and I tend to like not reuse content because I'm like oh I've already done that but like we can do it again Okay, so it's August 3rd, so we are three days into this little uh, challenge thing. And today I posted a TikTok and reel at the same time at 5 p.m., which is my prime TikTok time. So the TikTok one's like doing okay. It's like kind of average the same as all the other ones. Not bad, has potential, but it's not like going crazy necessarily. But I just checked my Instagram one. I literally just like went on a walk. Like I posted it at five and then like went on a walk and like it's six now and I'm looking back at it. So haven't looked at it since like I posted basically. And 
And the Instagram one has 19.8 thousand views already in less than an hour, which is not normal whatsoever. So as you can see, this has 19.8 thousand views and I usually average like 10,000 views-ish per post, but like after like obviously days, these have been up for like days or weeks. So like they do okay, not nothing crazy. But this one is going off right now, which honestly, I'm not surprised because I think this is super cute. Obviously I don't have the sound on, so you guys, uh, I don't get copyrighted or whatever. But I think that this piece is just really, really pretty. And I just like the aesthetics of it overall. I had better lighting than most. Um, I did my hair, you know, look a little more presentable than usual. So very excited about that. We will see how this progresses because sometimes videos will start doing really, really well at the beginning and then they'll kind of like plateau at like 100,000 views or a little bit less, which like is still really good, obviously. But obviously sometimes it like just skyrockets up as well. So we will see how this goes. I will update you guys maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. But yeah, day three and we are doing well. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna give you guys an update. It is August 9th now, so you know, we're nine days into this. The only day I've missed is yesterday as far as posting on TikTok. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys an update where I'm at. This is where I'm at on TikTok as far as like followers and such. I don't think it's gone up too much. I think I maybe had like 59.6 when I started or something like that. Nothing crazy. Yeah, as you can see, all my views have been kind of relatively the same. Like none of them have really popped off. But on reels, the last time I think I talked to you guys was when that one reel was kind of doing really well. It did kind of just like stop right there but it's like steadily growing so that one and I also posted a different one of the zero waste bags I've only posted two reels thus far like this month because I only want to put like my best work on there I feel like TikTok is a little bit more casual but with Instagram I like to put like the nicer better done things so as you can see they actually did pretty well in comparison to the other ones I have so we're at like 30 some thousand and they're still going up a little bit nothing like too crazy like it's not going up like super crazy exponentially but obviously Obviously it's doing better than the other ones. I feel like usually I get around like 15,000, maybe 20,000. So the fact that they're both above 30 is like doing really well. As far as YouTube, I did post twice a week already last week. So I posted on Tuesday and Saturday and I was gonna have something prepped for tomorrow, Tuesday. But yeah, I don't really have the time because the video that I want to film, I need to actually get it approved by like the sponsor of it first before I can post this. But I should be able to continue posting twice a week for the rest of the month except for to, like this week just have a lot going on if you're keeping track of like timeline of like when I'm filming all this this is the week before I'm leaving to LA for my pop-up shop that I'm doing so that's why I've kind of been all over the place with everything I'm kind of filming all these things all at once really trying really trying to push through it so yeah I'll show you guys where I'm at with my YouTube channel so we're at 69.4 thousand followers so it is going up and you know these this video did pretty well I would say this one not so much but I also didn't promote it I kind of forgot so yeah not too shabby as of right now still pretty just like steady growth like we have been nothing crazy i haven't seen like a super huge change or anything but we're also just like a weekend so nothing crazy should be expected but yeah i will keep you guys posted and i will see you in like a week or so <laughs> give you guys an update on this whole marketing situation it is now august 18th and honestly i have been failing i don't want to say miserably because i haven't done that poorly but i am really running out of content right now and like i was talking to kennedy about it earlier and even though we had tiktok spend out for the whole month obviously you know trends come and go and i just like don't know what to do because i'm not putting products out right now at all so i have nothing to promote i don't have any like thing i can make and show even for videos because like I'm currently working on my holiday collection and that's not something I'm gonna show just yet and obviously I've already shown all my pop-up stuff and I don't have those like products anymore for me to like 
make stuff out of because they're all in LA. So I'm in this weird transition point of I don't have any content to post, not video format, not picture format. Like I haven't posted a picture on Instagram since like forever ago besides like my pop-up shop picture. But yeah, I just feel so stuck. Obviously things are still like, you know, moving and doing well. Some of my reels have done pretty decent. So like, you know, I still have steady growth, but it's not the growth I was hoping to see this whole month. But the one thing that is doing well is my YouTube. So that is really good. So I uploaded the first part of the pop-up shop series and that has been doing really well. And also my garage studio makeover has been doing really well comparatively to the last like 10 uploads because YouTube will tell you how a video is doing in comparison to your last 10 uploads. And both of them have been number one. Like the garage studio was number one first and now this one's doing better than that one. So that is really good. But obviously I'm posting twice a week there right now. So that is doing well. I thought about not even like actually posting this video and scratching it because it's not do like I'm not doing as great as I thought I would but at the same time I kind of want to like just show you regardless because some months are just not as good as others and even though you put in all the work like sometimes it doesn't fully go through sometimes it doesn't blow up till like months later and sometimes it just never blows up and that's okay too but I kind of want to show the realistic side of things that sometimes you know things don't go to plan sometimes you have all this content planned and you just don't have time to make it sometimes you know trends change things change uh, your schedule changes things get crazy things don't do well things just are never as we think they're gonna be so yeah so that's kind of the update for right now we're like a little over halfway through the month so that's that on that my youtube though has grown i have like 70,000 subscribers now or a little bit over that so we're getting there slowly but surely which is really cool tiktok really hasn't grown at all i'm pretty sure i'm still at like 59,000 point like something yeah i'm still at 59.8 so i don't think it's grown very much i think i had like 59 point like six or something when i started so it's nothing crazy unfortunately even though i've been putting so much effort but yeah that's kind of the update for now. I will catch you guys maybe in a couple days. So it is now September 2nd. I just got home from LA and I wanted to finish up this little video and just kind of give you guys a run through of everything that kind of went on this month social media wise. Obviously as you saw at the beginning of the month I had all these plans, all these things, but then throughout the month I realized that I kind of didn't have that much content to give you guys besides my pop-up shop. That was like the one thing I did in August. Other than that I wasn't launching anything, I didn't really have new products, so I was really just trying to market like what I do kind of rather than products which is a little Little bit more difficult and obviously then marketed the pop-up shop and all of that i would say that honestly not too bad regardless i feel like the entire month it was just kind of like bleh kind of just like the same as it had been and then like the very last week of august everything kind of went up a little bit more and i saw a lot more of a change so i'll give you guys kind of the full rundown of what worked what didn't work what i should continue doing what maybe didn't work too well all that stuff so let's start with instagram i actually got to twenty five thousand on instagram which is really cool i think i said that I wanted to get to 30,000 but obviously that was kind of a reach especially considering I didn't really post much on Instagram because I didn't have any products to post and obviously not every TikTok makes it over to reels so I posted a couple of reels a few static posts so as you guys can see I've reached 124,000 accounts in the last 30 days which is 67.7 percent more compared to the previous month which is really great considering I really wasn't posting that much so here you can see the full insight you can see that my followers went up by 6.6 percent which which is pretty decent and overall I did a lot better than I had the previous month. I had six posts and 58 stories and six reels. So honestly, I didn't really do too much because I usually post every day or nearly every day on a normal month. So I would usually have, you know, closer to like 20 to 30 posts. The fact that I only had six posts and six reels for a total of like 12 posts is very little in comparison to what I usually do. It's like half of what I usually do, maybe a little bit less. And I still managed to get a lot of engagement, which is really, really cool. So overall, I would say that with Instagram, specifically reels, I think that it's definitely a quality over quantity kind of thing. Whereas I think TikTok TikTok can kind of be sometimes a little bit more of a quantity thing. I think that a good quality reel can really do well. I definitely had quite a few that did pretty well. One of them got over 70,000 views, so that is a lot compared to all the other ones, which usually, you know, average to like the 10 to 15,000 range. So overall, pretty decent. I am pretty content with the growth on there considering how much I didn't really post. 
So moving on to TikTok, which is kind of the main one that I was trying to focus on this month. I was so frustrated with it the entire month because nothing was really doing that great. Everything was kind of under 10,000 views, kind of doing the same as always. And I was posting nearly every day, if not multiple times a day sometimes, and just kind of doing a little bit of everything, whether it was showing me making a product or trying to follow a trend or doing some sort of trending sound or whatever it was, I kind of did a little bit of everything. And I had a few towards the end that did stick so I had three back-to-back -back that did pretty decent and then I had one after that that did the best so the first one that did really well got over 60,000 views which is pretty decent and that one is the one where you kind of like say something and then or you're like pause the screen and you're like actually never mind it's this other thing or whatever and just talking about small business things and kind of relatable content where people can comment being like oh my god me too or like I feel this whatever like I think that anything that is relatable and makes people want to be like oh my gosh me too is always good because comments obviously get you more engagement which gets you more views and gets you on more people's for you pages I think that one did really well because of that and that's something that maybe I should think about doing more often I kind of feel like I don't share too much of that side of relatability on TikTok so that would be a really good one okay my my camera died but anyway as I was saying the second one did really well and that one was a different concept it was kind of the sound of being like you know you're doing one thing then it like stops it's like fine I'll do it myself and then it's like some sort of glow up or just like really cool thing or whatever so I did mine based on like oh I was living in New York I was going to FIT about to graduate then like the pandemic hits and that's when like you know the sound goes down and then it goes to fine I'll do it myself and I said like decided to still make in the fashion industry and then I show all of my like success with my business and I think that people really love seeing those type of like coming to success type of stories or like small business uh, kind of journeys and stuff like that people really like that I find that TikTok is a super supportive community and anything where people can kind of congratulate you on like does really well which I always have troubles with because I don't like to sound like I'm bragging when I post those type of things and I don't want to post them too much either where it sounds like oh my gosh look at me because obviously I have failures too and I don't think I'm doing that great necessarily to be like oh my gosh but every once in a while those type of posts definitely do really well and that one got over 80,000 so that one did a little bit better then the next one didn't do like as great necessarily but I still think it did pretty decently and it was the you make me hate this city but I talk shit about you on the internet and I just did that with like Shein just because again it's kind of a relatable thing where a lot of people that follow me anyway definitely are on the same page and everybody was like oh my gosh me too and whatever so that got me like 19,000 views which was pretty okay then I had a couple that didn't necessarily do great they did normal and then my very last one for the month did so well that one got 161,000 views and it was just a very quick little video it's like the dancing trend whatever and I just wrote when you score a runway show for New York Fashion Week only a year after starting your sustainable clothing brand from the middle of nowhere Indiana at 21 years old and I think that there's multiple factors in this one that worked to my favor one it's the fact that it's a short sound so it's more easy for it to be kind of on loop and second I had a lot of text on it so it might take somebody more than like the length of the song to read the full thing and so you're watching it twice so you're getting more audience retention and then also it's the fact that I kind of you know throw in New York Fashion Week and then like only a year after starting my brand and it's sustainability and middle of nowhere Indiana and then 21 years old it's like all these factors make people be like oh my gosh I got so many people commenting that they're from Indiana and that they love to see it or whatever and I know that that's something I don't necessarily like voice that much I feel like I don't say it too much on TikTok like oh I'm from Indiana and I'm doing all these things because I don't like to necessarily say that I'm from here all the time but I do find that obviously saying that kind of helps people feel like oh my gosh like I could do it too and I don't have to be in a big city so I think that one did really well because of all of those factors and overall I was able to grow my TikTok to 62.1 thousand which is actually pretty decent it's the most amount of growth I've had on TikTok for a very very long time so as you can see in the last 28 days which is roughly the entire month of August my video views were up by 88% and my profile views were up by 135% my likes were up by 74% my comments were up by 139% and my shares were up by 127% so I was able to gain over two 2,400 followers and yeah 
it was pretty good. Here you can see that towards the end of the month is when I started really gaining that extra amount of following. So it took me posting every single day, multiple times a day to finally get something going. This is where I think that TikTok is more of a quantity over quality sometimes, not always, but I think a lot of times the more you post, the more likely you are to end up on a for you page. So that is what worked for me. I'm really content with how that went because it had just been a while. So did I get to my goal of 75,000? No, but did I get a good amount? Yeah, so pretty content with that. And lastly, let's talk about YouTube. I was able to get to over 72,000 subscribers on there, which is the closest out of all the goals I had to getting to that actual 75,000. I definitely think that YouTube, again, is one of those platforms where quantity kind of goes along with quality. Obviously, you want a good quality video, but if you're posting multiple quality videos in a row, it does better. And because I was posting twice a week this whole month, my views were up by a lot as well. And my subscribers obviously went up and overall everything just kind of went up in comparison to kind of the rest of the summer. I had only been posting once a week, which like still does well, but obviously if you want faster growth, the more you put time into it, the more consistent you are, the better it's gonna be. Overall recap, I think this month has really reminded me how important consistency is and quality content and just like paying attention to all those little things that could make a video you know do really well or just content in general do really well I think I've been kind of just playing it safe with a lot of things recently and I feel like I needed to kind of just like dive in and do as much as I possibly can and see kind of like what sticks what doesn't and kind of like re motivate myself to do everything so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed kind of seeing behind the scenes of kind of my thought process with my marketing strategies and how I try to grow my social media obviously you know we can always have goals and we might not meet them but that's fine you just move them on to the the next month and hope to meet them then and just like keep it rolling i'm not like but hurt if i don't reach a certain goal but i do think it's important to kind of set something so that you're kind of working towards a specific number a specific goal just because i personally find that super helpful but yeah let me know if you guys want more videos like this or more just like in-depth marketing videos if you want to see a video specifically just on tiktok or just on youtube or just on instagram whatever it may be let me know because i love diving into marketing i think it's such an interesting topic because at the end of the day it's kind of just like psychology of the brain and how like humans like to think about things which is super interesting so let me know what you guys think and yeah that is it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it subscribe for more if you're not already and i will see you guys in the next one bye